noble spirit of loving kindness. Karuna Saga Dehina Jidasa Vedi, noble spirit of compassion. Purita, with the noble spirit of sympathy joy. Upeka, with the noble spirit of equanimity. We are going to abide in this meditation center. As long as you are meditating, you should lift with the metta, karuna, mudita, and upeka. Ubekas, especially meaning of Ubeka, you should try to stabilize your mind. Do not approach any extreme. I want to tell you to be clear, love, it is the one extreme. Hate, one extreme. Do not approach any thing, love or hate. So Ubeka means equanimity. You should regard these two things, they are equal. Without approaching the love, without approaching the hate, you should go through the middle way. It is Ubeka. As long as we are practicing meditation course, we are going to abide with the loving kindness, noble spirits, to wish welfare for others. Compassion Karuna, the noble spirit, to remove others' sorrow and suffering. Burita, with the noble spirit, to feed and enjoy others' successful and happiness. You should abide with the equanimity without approaching any extreme love or hate. This is called Brahma Vihari. So all of my dear brothers and sisters, you should live as long as you are meditating with such a kind of noble, four kinds of noble spirit. Now review after me in conclusion. Itame ponya, Itame ponya, Bodhi nyanasa, Bodhi nyanasa, Pachyo, Pachyo, Hodu, Hodu. It is a you are very good wishes, expressions of your good wishes. You are undertaking the ten precept. You are undertaking the full brahmacharya, full kind of a noble spirit. You are taking the meditation courses. These are aimed to attain the body jnana. Body jnana means enlightenment. So by the power of this meritorious deed, meritorious projects, meritorious speech, by the power of this and noble projects, we wish to attain the body jnana, which is enlightenment in this Buddha's dispensation. Therefore, in conclusion, we used to say, Itami ponyam bori nyanasa pachiyo hodu. This is my special wishes. Always I wish this. But uh, here we can analyze. Bori nyana, savaka bori nyana, pachiga bori nyana, samasa bori nyana. Three stages of a bori nyana. Whichever Bodhinyana you can aim and you can wish. In the Savaka Bodhinyana also three stages. Pagadi Savaka, no man disciple. 
Egasavaka, eh, sorry, Mahasavaka, great disciple, Egasavaka, more and more great disciple, three stages of Savaka Jnana, Sariputra and Mamalana, great and great disciple, Sariputra and Jnana, take his seat there. Right inside of the Lord Buddha, behind Sariputra, he has forty Mahasavaka. In the left hand side, Mangalana, take a seat. Left hand side of the Lord Buddha, Mangalana, take a seat. He also has another forty disciples. All together, 80 disciples of the Sariputta and Mangalana. Sariputta and Mangalana are Egasavaka. They are disciples, all together, 80 Mahasavaka. Except these two, 82, other disciples are Bhagati Savaka. Whatever you aim, whatever you wish, you can attain. In the Bhikkhuni side also the same. Kima, outstanding in wisdom. She took her place right inside of the Lord Buddha. Oplawana, outstanding in supernatural power. She took her place right inside of the Lord Buddha, like in Bapalana. Behind these two theory, they have 80 great disciples. Beku and Bekuni is an equal right in Buddha's dispensation. In the attainment of the supernatural power or in the attainment of the Bodhinyana, equal right. But the physical structure is a very different. So may all of you attain in this very life. According to your aim and object, any body jnana, like a kema, oblawana, damadena, brajari, etc. May all of you be peaceful and happy. Thank you. ดีวาดนาดิเลตะเนสังโอดาปะสายีโนสัตตาโรดัมมาวุฏฏันตุเปนสัตตาโรดัมมาวุฏฏันตุอายุโวโนตุขังบาลังอารจังอภิวาดน
noble spirit, being in respect to the Tupacin and your mother, father, and elder. This is a great advantage in Buddha's dispensation. When they borrow this, being in respect, this is a traditional attitude being in respect to Tribajin and mother, father, and grandmother, father, or elderly. You will attain, you have to attain five advantages. Number one, may all of you be long life. May all of you be beautiful, not only physically but also mentally beautiful. May all of you be happy and peaceful. And number four, May all of you be strong. May all of you attain and complete very strong, strict physical strength and mental strength, especially the strength of a wisdom. May all of you be perfect with this wisdom strength. And then, may all of you be always as long as you lie in the dispensation, healthy. These five advantages are attainable, achievable by the power of us, homage to the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, mother, father, and grandmother, or your elder, etc. May all of you be peaceful and happy. This is a You want to 
will search for liberation. As a seeker after the liberation, first of all, he must understand the truth. Truth or true nature. As long as we do not understand the true nature, we cannot be liberated. We will be bodies of it. So many kind of attachment. So to be liberated from the bodies of attachment, eh, we must have tried to understand the true nature of the truth. Sayyidina <coughs> Gaurama entered into the forest, Uruvila forest, into the northeastern part of India. He approached so many ascetics, Asian Indian ascetics, for six long years. He spared him. They will teach me the technique how to search for the truth. Approaching, approaching, approaching so many ascetics. Sadhu, Brimajika, Samana, Yamana, many. The country of India is very wonderful. It is a land of religion. Before the Buddha, before the Jesus, before the Muhammad, many different kind of religions were appear in the land of India. But in those days it was called Jamuri Pa, not means India. According to the Bali language, they were called Sadhu. No, Sadhu means very good person, noble man. Now it is because of accent, Sanskrit accent. <laughs> they are funny men. Sanskrit accent, Sadhu. Actually, in Burmese accent, Padu, meaning good person. Even they renounce their sensual life, household life, in the end of the forest, such a depression. Very good man, Sadhu. Prabhupada Prabhupada also, same meaning, renouncing the household life, ordain as the ascetics, searching for liberation and truth, samana, dhyamana, prabhupada, sadhu, they are converted from household life to homeless life. Now, all of us say, the ladies and gentlemen, they say you are here, they don't have a house now. But I don't believe, they really renounce their house. <laughs> I've got a very basic person, they return to their home. It is very important to do actual renouncer. Whole life renouncer is very important. Like Divika, like Janisa. We don't have a house, but we have many monasteries. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe. And then, Babajita, who? Brave Bajaka, who? Renunciation, who? You are searching for liberation. You are 
we will be liberated from many different kinds of attachment. Therefore, we must train our mind. Now, physical culture is enough. Physically, really polite, really culture. Another training of the Buddha. Very wonderful. Buddha is the only teacher. He taught so many kind of way. Physical culture and mental culture. Now you have a physical culture completely now. Pay your respect, sit down on the floor, homage and the Buddha, the Maha and Sangha. But Mende Karsha is the real essence of the end of your life. Every Buddha's teaching, Buddha stated many kind of technique how to train the mind to be cultured. Padana, Sabalan, Satan, Turekhan, Dodi, Warayan. The mind is shaken, moving. The mind is fluttered, fluttered. The mind is very hard to control, to train. The mind is very difficult to You've got to go. The mind is very difficult to protect. As a seeker after the truth, try to train the wild mind to be polite, to be cultured. Well guided man, well trained man, produces peace and happiness. This is a Buddha's original war. A Buddha's dispensation. Even others a dispensation. Jain dispensation. Hindu dispensation. They have different kinds of technique, respectively, how to train the mind. But in others a dispensation, except Buddha's a dispensation, they have only technique to tranquilization of the mind, to tranquilize of the mind. They cannot penetrate the truth or true nature within ourselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, in this occasion, in this morning, I would like to tell you very brief Suggestion, very brief teaching of the Lord Buddha. At the time of Lord Buddha, within 45 years, <coughs> the Buddha lived 14 places on this Jabudipa a rainy retreat. Especially Buddha dwell Sarawasti Jitavana 
for 25 years. Other places, in other 13 places, 20 years. Only in Jita Group, Sarvasti, who had dwelt 25 years. The people who are living in Saudi is very lucky, very fortunate. They have a golden opportunity to live together with the Buddha for 25 years. They have a chance uh, three times in a day to be respect the Buddha, to listen to the Dharma within 25 years. We cannot estimate, we cannot guess how many ladies and gentlemen and Tira and Tiri attain enlightenment, enter into the Nibbana. How many? We cannot estimate. So, proper place is very important. No? Now you have proper place here. You know, Buddha was born in Saka State, near the Kabila was too. This state, this kingdom, is a native. Saka kingdom, Kabila was to state, Kabila was to city. In his native, he dwelt only one wasa. His mother passed away seven days after his birth, reborn in the losing the heaven. His father, after his uh, six was his father so daughter, and then the highest enlightenment became the Passing the Brady Mother. He's the first mother, Mama Jami Gorvi, in 500 princess renowned the luxurious bellies, shaving their head, entering into the Buddha's dispensation, and ordained, attained highest enlightenment. So Sarawa, uh, Kabila was too. After they are renounced, become quiet and peaceful. Buddha brought all of his relatives to the Nibbana together with him. Here, what I mean, Buddha spent only one wasa, one rainy retreat in Kabila was too. Saravasti, how many years? Twenty-five. Saravasti is a Buddha. No, Buddha is a relative. King Gosla, Anatta Vidika, Vishaka, they are not Buddha as a relative. But because of Paya's a devoted spirit, they serve the Buddha in Bhikkhu Sangha and Bhikkhu Nisanka properly they will go and dwell peacefully and Sarah was the important for 25 years. We cannot count people who attain Enlightenment became Arahant, entirely into the Mabrini Mana. We cannot estimate in Sarawasti for 25 years. Why Buddha was a dwelling in Sarawasti? In Babi's pronunciation, Tavuti. Jitavana. Babi's pronunciation, Zitavana. 
Say they want chow die. No? Don't they then buy the Anata Pindika? I want to ask you a joke question. Who was the wife of Anata Pindika? Lady Dona, who is it? Don't say we saw <laughs> You don't know Wizard has a husband. No other opinion. Wizard has a husband, Bonya Wutena, another rich man. And Jedawana, very famous under the Vedika. But his wife, no more. Who is it? Ponya Lekana Dewi. Do not forget. Anana Vedika in Ponya Lekana Dewi. Bede Dorida Jitawana. Who does he? Hundred thousand monks can dwell very big. Honestly, they built. At the eastern side, eastern gate of the Sawati city, Pogbarama, no Jidam. Pogbarama, eastern monastery. It was a building donated by Ponya Wotana and Wisaka. Two different monasteries, two different donors. Oda and Beku Sangha, Beku Sangha, happily lived for 25 years in Sarawasti, Chitawana, Sandai, Obarama. When you visit the Bodhagaya as a pilgrim, please contemplate such a kind of past story. You will have it. Peace will have it in your heart. I did in 25 times. Now on 2nd of December, I will go to bed. You can follow me. <laughs> so many brothers and sisters, within 25 years, Countless number of ladies and gentlemen, Tira and Teddy, attain, attain, attain enlightenment, became Sodapamna, Zagragami, Nagami, Aran, many. But the king of Kosala, this is the Kosala country, king of Kosala, facility Kosala. He nothing attained enlightenment. But he have a chance, 25 years, to live together with the Buddha, no? Nothing attained. The most important thing is we must have. Intellectual eye is very important to see the Buddha. <coughs> Physical eyes, no? You have, everyone has physical eye, but intellectual eye, the eye of a wisdom, most important to see this is the Buddha. I want to tell you one example. After the attainment of enlightenment, the Buddha dwelt seven weeks around the body tree. Body nine days. After the body nine days spent in around the body tree, the Buddha traveled, traveled to Diyapa, Diyaparanasi, to preach Dharma Chekha. Five Guru Gesedesa were waiting to listen to the Dhamma. 
would have traveled, I estimate, almost 200 miles. Now indeed we drive it by a car on the road 200 miles. But that straight, travel at the straight of it, maybe 100 miles. Who the trouble? Around the body tree, how many did Buddha spend? 1490. How many Indian people a day in life around the body tree? Not anyone. To the east of my body tree, a Jabala body, eh, sorry, a Jabala banyan tree. A Jabala means a goalkeeper. I think not only the goalkeeper, but also, Kaumai also, where living under the, 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 this banyan tree. Only the hundred years far from these two trees. Under the body tree, Buddha did the enlightenment. The whole one is a shaking. All of a deity in the sky, singing and dancing. Hundred years only far from the body tree, under a Jabala tree. Many go keeper, many come keeper. They don't know this is a Buddha. They don't have the eye of a wisdom. They don't have the ear of a wisdom. They don't have a chance to listen to the Dhamma. They miss the golden opportunity to be respect the Buddha. Seven we around the Bodhi tree, forty nine No Brahmin, no Indian, no any Indian people. Nothing attain the enlightenment. Nothing be respect the Buddha. Nothing offer to the Buddha any kind of a food. With the body nandi. No food for the Buddha. End of a body nine Too much no? arrival in the Uruvula forest. They came to know. Buddha attained the enlightenment under the body tree. They run fast to the body tree. They offer the food. After body nandi, Buddha took one time food. Who offered? Too much. They are from where? They are from where? From Oklahoma, no? near the Yango. Burmese people are the first and donor. Burmese people are the first donor to the book. <laughs> the eye of a wisdom is very important. The ear of a wisdom is very important. They offer the food. They request the Buddha, teach me the Dhamma. Buddha taught the Dhamma. First, the lesson of the Dhamma from Bama. <laughs> After the lesson of the Dhamma, Buddha Saranan Gachami, Sangan Saranan Gachami. How many times? Huh? No dhammas are uh, no sanghas are not gachami. Sorry, no dhammas are not gachami. Dhammas are not gachami. Not the sangha arises. No? They have they took two refuges in the world. Two permissive people became the first and foremost Buddhists. Bhama. You are very lucky today, Obama. <laughs> if you go to the area, oh, many beggars around the body tree. So nice. No? To the south, west corner of the body tree, Islam people established in the mosque. 
we are chanting here, there, also chanting in the mosque. Soon, I see, we cannot meditate. Prabhupada, please. No? So, physical eye is another important. Intellectual eye and intellectual ear is very important. How many years the Buddha spent in Sarawasti? 25 years. King Kosala lived together with the Buddha for 25 years. Nothing attained him. Anana Vedika and his wife, Ponyalakana <coughs> Devi, attained first thing enlightenment only. No more second and third, the highest stage. In the Eastern Gate of the Sarawasti, Onya Wodana and Wisaka also attained the first state enlightenment only. They have no higher stage because they support Buddha's dispensation completely over hundred thousand and hundred thousand months we are living. They are very supporter. They are striving, they are striving well prepared for us. This is a first aiming object of the Buddha's sons and daughter. Langata Sriya, striving well prepared for others. Nyadadasi is striving well for your relatives and friends. And last, third one, striving for oneself. Three aiming objects we must have. Anana Vinika and Wisaka are striving well for your others. They are neglected for themselves to practice. They are like only the first time in lifetime. But the King Kosala, nothing enlightened, nothing understanding any kind of a Tama. <coughs> in the DVD, many discourses, many Janaka stories taught by the Buddha himself for the King Kosala. He knows nothing. One day, he went to the Savati, uh, Jidavana. Approached to the Buddha, paying respect, and then he said, Oh Lord Buddha, as a king, we are so busy. We have so many tasks to do. So busy, so busy, we are so busy, like you. <laughs> we are so busy. Like Nyanesra. Therefore, please they teach me very short. This is a King Kosala's request to teach the Dhamma. Very wonderful king. Sometimes he went to the Jeda Guru to be rest by the Buddha. And someday, one day, someday, two, three times. Sometimes like, after two three months he went to only one time. He forgot all the Buddha. Very deluded king. In the Sayyukta Nikaya. Kosala Sayyukta. Almost hundred discourses, hundred sutras were expounded for the king Kosala. Now they are taking light. He requested to the Buddha, Oh Lord Buddha, we are busy. We are so busy, very busy. Therefore, I cannot sit in front of the Buddha for a long time. I cannot sit in front of the Buddha for a long time. Not more than 30 minutes. <laughs> 
Is that the international that died? Only 45 million? Therefore, I cannot say long time. So teach me. Very short. Buddha said, Apamadina Sambhadita. After that, Buddha remained silent. King Kosala looking at the Buddha's face. Oh Lord, Lord, we are so busy. <coughs> Please teach me, very short, to the point. I cannot say it for a long time in, your, in front. Buddha said, second time, Apamadina Samadita. And remain silent. And at that time, request again, Buddha said, Abhumadina Samadita. <coughs> King Kosta did not understand what the Buddha means. Abhumadina Samadita, very short, the matok. It is a kava whole deeply. Sutra, Vinaya, Vinva. A pine collection, pine Nikaya. Buddha taught within 40 years. To summarize the whole Tibidika, to summarize the whole Buddha's dispensation, Buddha used to say, Akumadena Samadita. King Gosala repeated again, Buddha. Please you teach me, short to the point. I cannot say long time. Now you take the time, 30 minutes. I want to go back. <laughs> Buddha said, hey, Gosala, my Namanda finish. <laughs> my Namanda is finished. Now done. You can go. Really? Yes. <laughs> Buddha. Make little commentary, Abhamadina Samadina. What Abhamadina Samadina mean? <laughs> Kostala, really deluded king. In the Myanmar tradition, every time, end of undertaking the five or eight or ten or precept. After undertaking the precept, all of them, teacher, used to say, Abhamadena Sambhalita. Every listener say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Someday Abhamadi, someday Abhamadi. They also do not understand what the Buddha means. I'm satisfied. Now we are also working together with the Kodras relative. Do not understand Abhumadina Sambhadita. Many brothers and sisters, Abhumadha, essence of Abhumadha, mindfulness. In Bali language, it is called Sati. If you do have a sati completely, everything will be completed. Huh? If you do not have a sati, mindfulness, you do not have nothing meditation, huh? nothing sila, nothing samadhi, nothing vinya. Sati is a foundation of Buddha sasana. Therefore, Buddha. Especially is from the Sati Patana. Sati is the foundation of all Buddha Sasana. It's very important. Sati is scholars that translate awareness, mindfulness. It is not really important. We do not argue, or it is a translation. But today I'm going to say, all of my dear brothers and sisters, 
Sati is a very powerful mental state. Api labana lekana sati, asa mosana rasa, areka vijubhadana. This is the commentary. Number one, sati is a very powerful to control the mind, to guard the mind. We can say as a guardian or controller of the mind, it is a sati. If you do have a sati, controlling the mind, guardian of the mind will be completed. I do not give any living being. I think the priest said, to go with name wrong, take any the things not given by owner, etc. This is a sila. Today you undertake the ten precept, sila. Sila means a discipline to control bodily action. Nay, said to control the powerful action. This is a sila. Only two. According to the commentary, ten precept, eight precept, five precept. When we summarize this as sila, only the two things you have to undertake. You can control your bodily action, not to kill, not to steal. You can control your verbal action, not to speak any untrue, unpolite, prevalent or vain or useless speech, ununited speech. You must speak, you must be true, must be honest, must be polite, must be pleasant. You must speak, you must be beneficial. You must speak, you must be accepted by others. These are discipline to control Kaya Gan Kwasika. Is that? Kaya Gan, orderly action. Kwasika, Babel action. To control Babel action and orderly action, it is very powerful, which is Sati. Without sati, you cannot be completed in sila state. To be completed in sila, you should have complete sati mindfulness. Therefore, sati is a foundation of your sila. Without sati, sila is gone. Abhamadina Sambadita. Be complete with a steel. <coughs> to be complete, you are tired and are taking the precept. Buddha said, Abhamadina Sambadita. King Kosla do not understand. I believe today you will understand. Okay, now. <laughs> Sila, <coughs> and I the precept with a mindfulness. This is a primary state. Huh? A second stage in Buddha's teaching, Samadhi. I want to do translate Samadhi means uh, mental stability. What is it? Stability of the mind. To civilize the mind, we need to control with mindfulness. Huh? Without mindfulness, the mind is gone. Therefore, sati is a foundation of samadhi. Samadhi, uh, sati, no like it. salt. <laughs> In every dish, without salt, no more taste. Sati look like water. Without water, we cannot survive. 
So ladies and gentlemen, Apamari Radamati does. One taboo to my talk, very short to the point. Try to complete with the mindfulness. If you can try to complete it with the mindfulness, you will be complete. Sila, Samadhi, and the Panya also. Panya means analyze it in detail to understand. Analyze it in detail to understand. I want to tell you one example. What is the inside of this glass? There's a car. You're going to say inside of a car, the water, you don't have a wisdom. You don't understand the real nature of the water. But in the commonly in the world today, everyone compared. This is water, conventionally true. But what is a realistic nature in the class? And the scientists say, say at all, it is no water. You can analyze in detail. Two elements are compound. Hydrogen, oxygen. From feet to head, from head to feet, in this very Kadama body, what I am, we must analyze in detail with the mindfulness. What I am, I am in Anitra without wisdom, it is nothing to attain it. It is a general analytic knowledge. This is real wisdom. Scientists say H2O, no? hydrogen and oxygen, two elements are coming combined, compound element. But when we analyze into two elements, one group into oxygen, one group into hydrogen, water disappears. It is very important to disappear, I, my. As long as uh, to destroy the this I concept, my concept, you cannot be liberated any kind of a bondage of sorrow and suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, if you show this a cup of the water to the Buddha, Buddha will say, hey, Nanisra, not only the two elements, but also four elements. According to the Buddhist philosophy, you get by how many elements? Four. Now I see the shaking. Air element. A cool nature. Keep on touch. Keep on touch. Long ago, one, two, three hours later, the cold nature changed into one a hot nature, cool, hot, cool, hot, cool, hot. This is one kind of an element, deep water too. Liquidity, fluidity. Now I'm talking about almost 40 minutes. Liquids are coming out <laughs> from the <my> body. Abortate. <laughs> Abortate. We put this cup of water into the deep freezer. One or two hours later, please you pull up, look at it. Totally change it. Hardness in nature, like a stone. The ice is very hard. How many days are we see? Shaking, moving. Liquid and fluid. Cool or hot. Cool or hot. Hardness or softness. Four 
Helena Okta, super scientist. Without mindfulness, we cannot attain such a kind of a wisdom. Without sati, we cannot attain such a kind of a supreme wisdom. Apamadina Sambadita. Very short to the point. In this a very short stanza, very short words of the Little Buddha. Three kinds of Buddha sasana are included. Sila, Samadhi, Panya. Sila means to control body and speech with a mindfulness. Samadhi means a mental stability to guard the mind with a mindfulness. Second, and that one, to analyze this physical body and mental body, two kind of body. How many materialities are compounded? How many mentalities are compounded? Analytic knowledge is very important to lead enlightenment. No? So, ladies and gentlemen, in this very short words of the Lord Buddha, Apamadina Sambadita, three Buddha sasana are compounded. But the very short teaching to the very deluded king, not an understanding. End of the, this explanation, King Kozala, Buddha remained silent. King Kozala said, Oh Lord Buddha, you explained in long time, we are very busy, uh, let me take leave. Okay, you know your time. Buddha said, I must know my time. Now, 45 minutes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Apamadina Sabarita. No? Apamada means <coughs> guardian of the mind, which is a stick, controller of the mind which is a sati. Analyzing what I am, sati and wisdom associated. Sometimes only the sati without pinya, not associated with the pinya, just can control only. If this is sati associated with the sati, uh, pinya, you can analyze, analyze in detail. Like analyzing the glass of water. So ladies and gentlemen, from head to head, from head to feet, first of all, by undertaking a precept, you now already control your speech and your body is enough under the power of a city. Second stage, you must try to step up your jaw to control your mind monkey to be stabilized on a single object. This is Abba Martina, second meaning. And the last one, after the stability of the mind, if we can attain the enough stability of the mind, we must analyze, analyze in detail what I am, what I am. When we can analyze ourselves in detail, you have no more concept of I and mine, and that you will be liberated from the bondage of around you. This is a very powerful teaching of the Lord Buddha. Ladies and gentlemen, in the initial standard of the time, now enough 40, 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Okay? Appamadina Sambarita.
Be mindful. Be aware what I am. Do completely your tasks. What are your tasks? Your tasks to complete the sila, to be completed samadhi, to be completed the wisdom. These are three only you are taxed to do in this very life. This is the essence of your life. In the last day, last minute of the Lord Buddha, Buddha said on the eve of my brain, Nirvana, in the southwest corner of Bushi Nagara, Handadani Bikwi Amandiyami Wo, Vyarama Sankara Abamadina Sambha. Oh, my dear brothers and sisters, I wanted to say my last word. Vayadamma Sankara Abhamadena Sambarita. Two sentences. Vayadamma Sankara Abhamadena Sambarita. Vayadamma Sankara means all the conditioned things and compounded things have constantly flux. All conditioned things and compounded things constantly flux. To complete your time, you wish what? This is nature of formation. May all of you, all of you be attain some stages of enlightenment. And they support us the dispensation of a body, not somebody to have. And as you are donation, I will say you, for your donation, repeat after me. Imani. Imani, Shivarani, Shivarani, Dadama Utuni, Dadama Utuni, Uda Dekso Arami, Uda Dekso Arami, Sangasa, Sangasa, Ima, Ima, Imani, Imani, Shivarani, Shivarani, Dadama Utuni, Dadama Utuni, Uda Dekso Arami. Sakasa, Imina, Punya Kamina, Ima Same, Sasane, Bodhi Nyana, Naviyama, Idame Punya, Bodhi Nyana Sa, Pachiyo, supporting condition to attainment of the Bodhinyana. You donated this donation to the Buddha Texo Bodhisattva University Sangha, not for me. By the power of this dana, you may you be free from sorrow and suffering. May you be liberated from any kind of bondage or craving. May you be a day in the Supreme Enlightenment. May you be a day in the Nibbana. And this is Buddha's dispensation. This is a, you are best wishes, my good wishes. Thank you. Great. Much. Too much donation. <laughs> Donation to come up from the non attachment. Therefore, we can say Donation is a manifestation of non attachment. If we can cut attachment little by little, little by little, you will be liberated. I want to tell you one story in the last three. Last uh, 15 years ago, from Japan, 
very famous uh, Javani man, received a very big uh, title, award, award Myanmar government ministry of religious affairs, Ega Maha Sadma Jodhika title. There is a Javani man receiving the title, awarding the Myanmar government from Nibiru to my Buddhist academy, from Yangon to my academy, coming. I also honor for his receiving a, a, this great title. They have given many presents, presents, given, given. My, uh, my Buddhist academy professor, lecturers are given, given, given. He receiving, 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 receiving. Full of present he embraced. <laughs> After that, he didn't say thank you, Dr. Janisa, etc. He didn't say. But he requested me, I would like to tell you very short Dhamma. I didn't want to say you thank you. You give him, you are giving too much a present, too much a donation. You are donor and giver, renouncer. I am a receiver. Now receive, receive, receive many donations. Receiver is a become heavier and heavier. <laughs> become heavier and heavier. I must have borrowed a 24 wheels uh, truck. <laughs> Receiver is a become heavier, heavier. Donors have become lighter and lighter. <laughs> this is Dhamma. No? Become lighter and lighter as a donor. You see the nature of the lighter and heavier. Lighter one going up and up, up and up. <laughs> no? <coughs> Heavy eyes are going down and down and down and down. I didn't want to go down up to the Awiji head. You're going to up, up to the Brahma wall and up to the Nirvana because you have become lighter now as a Toda. I receive anything, I'm now heavier. <laughs> so I will let you donate, re donate, Beku Sangha. In my Buddhist academy, everything gone at that time. Myself also become lighter. Donor and receiver. Now, same destination we go in. Thank you very much. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. This is a very good blessing. Let me be. Give me. <laughs> what does it mean the blessing? <laughs> According to the religion, blessing is in the ground of God. According to the Buddhism, Blessing not coming from the Buddha. You are blessing. Blessed by yourself. Now you are very good. Meditator, donor. This is the donation and meditation and listening to the Dhamma. This is you are blessed. In Bali, what it is called Mingala. Mingala, translation, blessing. Mingala is a meaning, removing all evil, accumulating all good. This is the real of a Mingala, according to the Pali Ataka. So may all of you be removed, totally without exception, all kind of evil. This is it. You are blessed by yourself. 
May all of you be accumulating all kinds of a good deeds, good speech, good practice, good training, good mind. This is a, you are blessed by your call, by your self. Thank you.